Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking today's thumbnail. In today's video, I wanna share with you my top fragrances that I cannot wait to wear this coming fall. The cooler days are right around the corner, so if you wanna find out which fragrances are my favorite from my collection, stay tuned. First time here, welcome. My name is Moraima. On this channel, I share some of my passions such as fragrance, self-care, and decor. And I invite you to look around, check out a few videos. And if we are your vibe, then consider subscribing. It's 100% free and I'm constantly bringing perfume videos for your pleasure. If that is your vibe, then definitely consider joining the tribe for my returning subscribers, my OG. Thank you so, so much. It's a pleasure to see you again. So today I wanna share some of the fragrances that are my favorite from my collection for fall when the weather starts to get a little bit cooler and the temperatures are dropping. And obviously after you haven't worn them for you know many months because of the summertime, you start to miss them. So I wanted to share them with you. I'm definitely going to be enjoying them again greatly this fall. And let's just get started. This fragrance you can technically wear all year round, but I found that when it's really, really hot and humid, I don't enjoy wearing it. I don't feel that it's just, I don't know. I just feel that it becomes a little bit too much. It's an amber vanilla. So definitely very cozy, very sweet, but I prefer to wear it when the temperatures start to come down. And I'm referring to Poison Girl EDP by Christian Dior. This is a beautiful, oh my God, it's so cozy. It's an amazing orange blossom. It has almond, it has vanilla, it has rose. It has all kinds of notes that are super yummy. It has tonka bean. But I just feel that it's one of those fragrances that are my easy grab when the weather is getting a little bit cooler and I don't want anything that is too loud and I'm just going to enjoy my own scent bubble. But it's beautiful, it's cozy, it's romantic, it's perfect for a, you know, close encounter type of date, you know, a very relaxed date, you know, at home, maybe watching movies or, you know, even if you go out, but you know, it's a, it's a fragrance that is definitely going to be very close to you, but at the same time is going to be very attractive to those who are going to be in, you know, proximity to you. I love the orange blossom and the almond. I am not an almond person. It has to be done in a very particular way. And as a matter of fact, I have a couple of fragrances here that have almond. Almond for me, it could turn bitter. It could turn the wrong way. If it's done well, if it's definitely, you know, in combination with beautiful notes and it has a good dose of vanilla and we take it more into the creamy realm versus taking it into like a syrupy, type of you know like those syrups that are like for coffee like almond syrups for coffee like that's not my vibe I don't even like you know flavored coffees like that so far this is the one I love the most and I cannot wait to wear it once again Poison Girl EDP by Dior. The next fragrance that I cannot wait to wear as soon as the weather starts getting cooler is the best tuberose that I have on my collection Rouge Malachite or Malachite or Malachite I'm not sure exactly what is the proper pronunciation if anybody knows let me know I mean, I speak French, I speak Italian, and I still, I'm not able to figure it out, so you let me know if anybody knows. So back to what I'm saying is that this is one of the best tuberose, and I don't like tuberose. It's not necessarily my jam, but this tuberose, guys, this is just the exception to the rule. And as I'm spraying this, I'm going to let you know right away, do I think that this one is very similar to Alien? A lot of people say that this one is very similar to Alien. I don't think that they are. They are probably in the same neighborhood, but they're not necessarily the same fragrance. I don't, I wouldn't feel like if I'm wearing one or I'm wearing the other one, I'm wearing the same fragrance whatsoever, especially in the dry down. This is a beautiful triple dose of tuberose, but super well blended. It has ylang ylang, it has cashmeran, so it makes it super, super creamy. It has pink pepper in the opening, just giving it like a little, a little extra kick, a little something. And I know that a lot of you have already put your nose on this fragrance. This is just a staple on my collection. I absolutely love it. We had a little scare last year. We thought it was getting discontinued. It's confirmed. It's not discontinued. It's still available. So I hope they never take it out of the market because it's just really, really gorgeous. When I want to feel very sophisticated and I want to feel very put together and I want a beautiful floral that is creamy, that has really good longevity. This is not the loudest fragrance, but it has really good longevity, at least on me. It can last like six to seven hours, which is only the amount of time that I'm going to be out and about anyways. But Rouge Malakite is just to me the quintessential of tuberose is like the 
fragrance that if you want a beautiful floral of incredible quality that is blended like no other then you have to get your nose on this if you haven't had the opportunity to smell it and this is a fragrance that i only wear in the cooler days i cannot wear this in the summertime again the heat i'm very particular as soon as it gets like super humid i'm just like I don't want to wear anything that doesn't make me feel refreshed. So this is something that maybe other people can handle it. I cannot. I need the temperatures to start cooling in order for me to enjoy this fragrance. But I cannot wait for the cooler day so that I can start wearing it. Once again, Rouge Malakit by Armani Privé. This I cannot wait to wear is another one that I fell head over heels. It's another almond that is beautifully done and to me is the best out of the complete line. This is Terra di Gioia by Giorgio Armani. <sighs> guys this is one of the best almonds ever i um i mean you've, you've you've heard me you've heard me talk about this fragrance i'm sure for those who have been on my channel for a little while i discovered this fragrance pretty late it was already springtime and i could not believe my eyes when i smelled that fragrance Oh my God, it is so good. Again, another fragrance that you can technically wear in the summertime. However, because of how creamy it is and because of the hot days that I've been able to experience lately, they're very, very, very humid and anything that could be creamy and cozy, which I love, turns into sticky and not so great for the summertime, for me particularly. I know that a ton of people have been wearing this fragrance, but... Oh. I love, love. This is an amazing amber floral and it has the right amount of everything. I think, again, another reason why I find it so particularly amazing is because it has almond blossom instead of just almond the nut itself. And that makes it a little bit feminine floral, but yet creamy and... oh and it opens up with pear it has bergamot it has like beautiful juicy fruits at the opening keeping this fragrance a little bit refreshing but to me on my skin the almond blossom comes out beautifully and it has musk and it has jasmine so it's just a beautiful creamy yumminess that i as soon as it gets a little bit chillier and you know you get to wear like a little cardigan a little something like this is the fragrance that is for me i love how easy it is to wear this fragrance is just amazing i absolutely love it and it's really good for layering so if you have a fragrance that is missing like a little bit of coziness you can definitely add this uh, once again terra de gioia by giorgio armani since i cannot wait to wear when the weather gets a little bit cooler when you know the sweaters are out the knit sweaters are out maybe the scarf is out the little leather jacket is out is another fragrance that has been my baby and i'm talking about milk by commodity this is the yummiest yummiest whipped cream ever i absolutely love this fragrance it's just so so good obviously this has to be towards the end of fall not the beginning of fall because this is almost like a winter fragrance for me it's a very very heavy fragrance it's a very loud fragrance because of the quality this is the expressive in their scent bubbles in their scent profile so it's like the medium one and it's supposed to project so and it definitely does and i absolutely love Oh my God, this is so creamy. This is like, I feel like every time I smell this fragrance, it's like I'm throwing myself like head first. I'm diving into like a big tub of whipped cream. Like that's all I'm thinking. Or like a big pool of marshmallows and you're just like bouncing back. It's so fluffy and creamy and yummy. And because of that, because it's so thick and yummy, I cannot wear it in those fall days that are like bipolar. <laughs> These are the days that it starts one temperature, three hours later is warmer, three hours later it gets cooler, and then three hours later we're back like and you're you're doing you're pulling one of these, like take off, put it on, like the jacket or the sweater that you have. It's like so that's not when this fragrance shines. This has to be now when it's like the end of October, like November, like when we're talking, you know, it's already set and established that it's cooler weather season this would be an amazing amazing fragrance i absolutely love it and although it has mahogany which i was super super afraid because i like woody notes but i don't like it to be like masculine leaning and i don't like them to be like just i don't know i feel like they don't develop really well on my skin it has to be like a very smooth creamy uh note like sandalwood i absolutely love but anything else like outside of that realm i feel like it's not my lane but they did an amazing job in this fragrance 
absolutely love it and I cannot wait cannot wait for the cooler days so that I can start wearing it once again milk by commodity I cannot wait to wear when it gets cooler when the sweaters are out when the scarves are out is Annie by Nishani this is the spicy vanilla that I have to have in my collection I'm not a spicy fragrance type of person but Annie is the exception to the rule oh this is so sophisticated this is so classy to me I feel like a million bucks every time I wear this fragrance I absolutely love love this fragrance let me just spray it one more time because I just I haven't I feel like I haven't smelled these fragrances in so long do you guys feel the same way when you know a season changes like I think the most drastic would be like from fall winter to again fall winter I feel like the most time has elapsed you kind of start missing them you know it's you haven't smelled them in a little while so mm. this is a beautiful amber floral opening up with ginger which I absolutely love ginger in fragrances I don't eat ginger but oh my god on fragrances it's beautiful it has cardamom obviously it has vanilla and it has some green notes that are just refreshing but at the same time it gives this fragrance like a very sex appeal it has black currant and pink pepper and vanilla to me this is the best spicy fragrance for those who don't like spicy fragrances if you know what i mean because it gives you that sophisticated that kick but at the same time it's mild enough that you don't feel like it's overpowering especially for my girls who like a more feminine fragrance i think that's why i don't like spicy because i feel like spicy doesn't make me feel feminine it's not sweet it's not you know it's not sexy i don't feel very sexy but Ani is the exception to the rule it definitely has a beautiful feminine aspect even though it's a 100% unisex fragrance you can wear this a man can wear this and I know it's going to be interpreted completely different in both skins love it love it love it this is sophistication is class and I'm here for it so I cannot wait to wear Annie by the house of Nishan the next fragrance is another almond to the collection that again for someone who doesn't like almond I sure have a lot of almond fragrances anyways I absolutely love this fragrance to me in the fall time is the ideal time to wear this fragrance because in the winter time I feel that the fragrance is not strong enough to overpower the cold weather maybe you know the winters here in Florida will be able to because it doesn't get that cold but in the fall this is my jam and this is rolling in love by Killian guys my favorite Killian period my favorite Killian the other one that I own oh, you know what no I'm, I'm lying I'm lying but you know I can't talk about all my fragrances because it's just the, the video will never end but definitely Angel's Share is another highly highly loved uh, fragrance but <sighs> rolling in love let's just say that rolling in love is my favorite out of these packaging you know these packaging another one that i want to get into my collection is moonlight in heaven which i absolutely love as well i haven't added to my collection just yet is on the wish list but it'll get there at some point i love that one as well but rolling in love is my favorite mm, so good it's creamy it's so gorgeous it's so feminine i absolutely love how yummy and cozy and feminine this fragrance is at the same time is classy because sometimes fragrances if they are too cozy and too yummy you know it may seem like a very casual type of fragrance not a fragrance that could be a little bit more upscale or a fragrance that you would be able to wear a little bit more dressed up or to the office or something like that where you know if you happen to be in business meetings all the time and you need something a little bit more you know the suit type of fragrance you know this fragrance has it all it could be classy it could be very sophisticated this and rouge malachite is definitely those two tuberose fragrances that i would see that would work really really well in an office setting as well this is so yummy and it has the tonka bean and the vanilla but it also has ambrette seeds and i absolutely love ambrette and ambroxan like every time a fragrance has ambrette or ambroxan i'm in like i usually unless they have another note that is super predominant but definitely the ambrette seeds are really really good on this fragrance and the almond is almond milk not necessarily almond the nut itself so i'm noticing that any fragrance that has almond milk or almond blossom which is the flower I'm in for it if it's just pure almond it's a little bit harder for my particular taste 
but this is so my jam. I love it, love it, love it. Anyways, so much looking forward to wear this fragrance this coming fall. Once again, Rolling in Love by the House of Kelly. The next fragrance that I cannot wait to wear this coming fall when the weather is getting cooler is Silky Woods by Goldfield and Banks. This fragrance is just incredible. And I know I said a little bit ago that I don't like woody fragrances and I was so afraid when this fragrance came out because I was thinking that it was going to be like super woody and super masculine leaning. But the vanilla here is beautiful. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It's gorgeous. I absolutely love it. Hmm. Again, it's a very cozy, you know, those are the type of fragrances I like to wear in the fall. Let me know in the comments below if you are more of a spicy type of person when it comes to the fall, or if you're more of a cozy type of sweet, gourmand, ambery, musky type of fragrances that you'd like to wear when the weather gets a little bit cooler. Oh my God, this fragrance is so, so good. And it opens up with cinnamon and saffron and I absolutely love saffron. Ever since I smelled it for the first time in a fragrance, I was like, okay, this is my nose. It just has such a sex appeal and it makes every fragrance just so complete and bold, but yet very sophisticated at the same time. I absolutely love it. This has tobacco, ylang ylang. It has jasmine, vanilla, sandalwood. Mm. Great, absolutely love it. To me, this is another easy to wear fragrance that when you're looking for something very cozy, very different, you don't wanna smell like everybody, but you want something that is still very inviting, very vanilla-y, you know, with a very smooth, creamy sandalwood with a touch of oud that makes it a little bit deeper, then this is a no-brainer. This fragrance is such a crowd pleaser, such a crowd pleaser. I have not, seen one person who doesn't like it and I get a ton of compliments every time I wear this fragrance. This is one of my most complimented fragrances. Absolutely love it. Mm, I get, I do my happy dance every time I smell all my fragrances that I love because, you know, it's just, it is what it is. <laughs> I love them. The more it dries down, the better it becomes. It's just such a well blended, the, the woodiness, it's just a touch. It's just enough to give it character, but it's mainly a beautiful vanilla and saffron. It's gorgeous. If I had a drink that smelled like this, it's over. <laughs> it's over. It's so, so good. Anyways, cannot wait to wear it. Silky Woods by Goldfield and Bags. My list for today. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. If you like any of these fragrances, let me know in the comments below. What are your favorites? Which ones are the ones that you cannot wait to wear? Please don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you can be in the know the next time that we post a video. And in the meantime, I'm going to leave you with my top fall recommendations, which was a video that I did last year, but still stand true. I love them all. I know that that video did very well and I know you're going to find some gems there. Until the very next time, big kiss. Bye-bye.